Hi guys, uh, Jules and Eddie here. Look, <clears throat> I um, I don't normally do the live feeds, but um, this one I believe is really important, and it's about the the suicide rates of parents. Something that we don't know a lot about. Um, when they're dealing with child protection in the family court. Um, I'm finding it very difficult at the moment to try and get this out, but I was alerted to a case um, just two days ago where the immense pressure child protection has placed on a parent has resulted in her passing. She took her own life to end the pain. Um, it's not an uncommon thing. It's actually far more common than we realise. And these are trauma responses that people are actually living with on a daily basis across Australia. The tactics used by child protection are very barbaric. Um, we see that with the adoption process that was in the 1920s to the 1980s, the forced adoption program where between 1920 and 1950, over 250,000 forced adoptions occurred. That's right. In 30 years, 250,000 forced adoptions occurred. We see in 1971-1972, where another 10,000 forced adoptions occurred in one year. That's enough to send any parent completely around the bend. When they did that study... It proved without question that the, the absolute barbaric nature of severing the bond between mother and child. Unfortunately, I can't speak for the fathers on that in, in the forced adoption because the fathers were an obsolete object at that time, which again was another very barbaric act. Um, basically, they were shunned because they got the young teen mum pregnant. Um, but my point is, is that the forced adoption program was shut down. The Senate inquiry did its final review in August of 2012 and found to have discovered the, the massive impact psychologically, mentally, emotionally, not just on the mother but on the child that was forcibly removed from that mother at birth. There is a very strong history here and it's horrific. Now we look at modern day forced adoption. I'm going to say it that way because, in my opinion, um, forced adoption basically changed its title to child protection and foster care. My opinion is that child protection, it's no longer adoption, it's now on 18-year orders. Um, I, I just, look, I do apologise. I'm pretty broken in this. This... I'm disgusted. This, our government is allowing for barbaric practices to occur where mental and emotional psychological abuse is happening daily to parents. How do you break a parent? You destroy their child. How do you get a parent to bend over backwards like a circus monkey? You hurt their children. The government knows this and it's becoming more and more brazen. It's just, this is a nightmare. This is, Steven Spielberg couldn't have imagined what child protection does. He couldn't have put this in a movie any better. Sorry. Christmas Day. I had 11 calls from broken distressed parents. Parents who hadn't seen their children for a few days to a few months, some, they don't get to see their children more than a handful of times a year, four hours a year. Once 18-year orders are in place, they get four hours a year to see their babies. Now on Christmas Day, 11 separate phone calls telling me that someone had just attempted to end their life. Another parent dealing with child protection. 
another parent who felt they couldn't protect their babies anymore. When is this going to stop? Really? Two days ago, it was brought to my attention, this young mum. Child protection had lied, manipulated, cheated, and just completely devastated this young woman. Look, she had a history. We all do. We all have something in our closet. We're not perfect. If we were, we wouldn't be human. We'd be robots. But this young mum pulled her head in. She had found love. She had found support. She had found compassion. She had found community spirit. And she was getting the help and support that she needed. She was pulling her life back on track. She had love support, family. She had everything. All she needed was to have all of her children back together and in one little home and they would have been fine. But what child protection couldn't handle that. They wanted those kids one way or another. And they berated this young woman. They crushed her soul. They allowed her child to be abused. This broke the mother. And the last anyone saw of her, she walked down to her shed. The next thing, her family trying to hold her while she stared blankly after her death. How does our government justify this? Another case, New Year's Day. The father, the mother, perfect relationship, everything was fine. Child protection have stepped in. The father attempts suicide in front of the mother and now this poor woman is so broken. He didn't, su he didn't succeed, thank you, Lord. But how many more cases does this have to be? How many more parents' deaths do we have to witness? Child protection will fabricate reports. Child protection will tell you that the sky is black when you know full well it's blue. Hi everyone, I'm Catherine Oakey. I'm a founding member of Jacob's Voice. I'm also Jacob's mother. When I came across Jules Zanetti's video, I was compelled to share it. Jacob's Voice doesn't share live videos because we can't control the comments on them. And we will not have bullying and trolling on our page. When I saw Jules' video, we had to share it, despite our policy of not sharing live videos. Um, subsequently, we got in touch with Jules, who has kindly given us permission to share this video with you. I get goosebumps when I watch it. I have become emotional and teary when I watch it. The statements that Jules makes are profoundly true, researched, and nobody could have said it better than what she has just said it. I hope that it touches your heart as much as it's touched mine and our board's hearts. There's nothing more that I can say. Jules has said it all, and we'd just like to uh, appreciate everything that she's done and said in that video, and we want to get it out to the Australian public. 